Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we're advancing towards Sarajevo, lest the Russians uh, take it from the Prussians and they kind of leave us standing in, <laughs> in the open looking a bit silly uh, again like they did before. So this time they are now actually on our side with a large, well, notionally a large cavalry contingent with a lot of uh, infantry and, and infantry and cavalry were they not heavily depleted so we still have to do the bulk of the heavy lifting here um, but at least the Russians might be able to uh, bamboozle the Prussians somewhat the Prussians do have a reinforcing contingent but it's nothing to worry about fundamentally they, the Prussian army seem to have a large component of cavalry which would be a a concern but we've got infantry that can form square and if we are smart with positioning our melee troops then it becomes kind of a trap for them rather than a bonus so especially when they've got when the cavalry is mostly gendarmerie and regiment of horse and kind of lighter slash medium cavalry with heavy cavalry it gets a bit more spicy but they don't really have much of that and it looks like we're going to be on the attack because we do not have a great position to use our artillery. Actually, first of all, let's combine all our infantry units that are the same size so then we can more easily spread them out. The mercenaries on the right then stretch out our melee troops all the way along the line so we've got some kind of roughly in the right place. Combine my Ahadi and my Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Get my Sipahi on the right. General in the centre. So they are... De they have deployed... face off against the Russians. So what are we shooting at? Fundamentally, we need to push up in order to help try save our Russian allies. The mortars are opening fire. Yeah, largely we need to make a lot of progress really quick. Not that I'm overly fussed about the Russians taking damage, but it's more about us role-playing as an effective ally. Well, actually, you guys probably want to go here. You guys push further out. Keep my artillery moving up. And these guys on the left. The general has died from random artillery fire or oh, is that no ally general john no oh, the john yeah john for a pair in my bring start bringing my uh mortars up we are getting hit by enemy shrapnel shot The, pressure, the Russian guns are starting to set up. Ultimately, as soon as my line starts to get into position, you're a bit run. Actually, you're not massively vulnerable. We need to push up into musket range of these guns, otherwise. 
which gonna keep getting slapped by canister shot and shrapnel shot. Push my heavy cavalry up. I mean my cavalry's not really got much of a look in yet. But once our infantry, once our troops start pouring the musket fire onto them. There you go, so they're blasting us with... Okay, let's check. Once you start pouring on the musket... Oh, unsurprisingly, you are wavering because you're getting hit by... You may rout, but in of itself it's not a problem. Push my Gurkhas up. My guns are advancing up to the... Higher ground. But this is where we'll start to actually help our allies somewhat. I mean, that's not really where I'd like you guys to go. Come on, Hindu Musketeers. Aim. Blast them. You're, aiming, you're shooting at the line infantry. The Gurkhas are hitting the regiment of horse. We've got a charge here from Militia and Swiss Line. The enemy cavalry I'm not overly worried about. Get my Gurkhas back behind the lines. Okay, now deploy some of my melee troops plus the cavalry, because they've actually punched through the line here. Lots of... Yeah, there we go. So we did manage to come in and help save the day. Still engaging the Prussian gun line. Keep advancing. I mean, there's an argument to be said for just charging them, but... Eh, keep the line together. The General's bodyguard is upset, so let's push them, pull them back, because they're aiming at our... I'm well, not sure whether they're aiming at the General. They're just hitting the General as kind of a byproduct. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right, that's where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. So this cavalry start to work your way around. You men form a new line. Actually, I might just form my artillery up here. And you guys push up ahead of that line. Okay, you men. You're not any real use there anymore. Come back to here, I guess. Very temporary measure. begin to run the Gurkhas in towards the Regiment of Horse. Bring the cavalry around. A bit of a circuitous route. Hindu warriors, Islamic swordsmen, dervishes. Just stand behind the line. Yeah, the Gurkhas have bumped into the Regiment of Horse, so they are in for a bad time. Bring my mercenaries out to engage the militia. 
bring my Gurkhas over here to support my cavalry because they may be needed. And limber and limber and limber. The mortars just get behind the hill. Good, everyone is redeploying. So you're engaging those militiamen. Do you have any artillery support? You have artillery nearby, but whether you class them as support, I don't know. So Hindi Musketeers, Hindi Musketeers, Kizobashi. There you go, artillery's opening up on their artillery. It's a bit of an awkward position, but we'll take it. Freikor, oh, we're not destroyed one gun team of six pounders. That is those, so those are just enemy infantry that get to wander around firing quick climb at people. How lame is that? Okay, you men... Okay, keep the keep the line strong because they are engaging us. In which case, you men form up here to engage the regiment of line. Get my general after the garrison mortarmen. Because you guys are doing fine against the gendarmerie. We're not going to stand here and be bombarded. That is not going to work for us. We need to push up, surround and engulf them. Go on, General, get the mortars. Oh, Curiosity Air have come back. Potentially a bit dicey. Come on, turn around. Why are you going towards the Curiosity Air? That's explicitly definitely who I don't want you to go after. You guys are just stood there, so that's super not helpful. Let's abandon that with the infantry. The cavalry can take care of it. Engineers are getting within range. The artillery is breaking, so retarget the six pounders with the rest of my artillery batteries. My Sipahi can go for them. General took out the gunners to bring the general back over to the main line. Getting my heavy cavalry committed because there's no one really left. These Freikorps should be getting annihilated. I mean, they're light infantry and they're being engaged by musket troops with advanced firing drills. So you men push up to fire into the flank of the guards. Everyone else, push up. There is naught left but guns. Cease fire in my artillery. There we go. It's a path you've dealt with them. The Russians haven't been completely defeated. They advance into the town, but it will not. It will not do them any good. The U men attack the horse artillery, U men attack the 17th. There go the engineers. So my Hadi. Lance is dipped. Yeah. 
kill the last crewman, then go after the light infantry. And let's speed up time because there's no one left. Could pursue, but I'm not overly bothered about it. I'm happy to take the win. It will be met. Let's see what happens to the Russian armies. How much damage do they really take on the campaign map? Mm -hmm. Come on. No military access means falling back for you. Okay, let's repair the government building. Let's replenish the army. I might deploy you to try and block this army if they try to start raiding our, t raiding our lands. You men hold Zagreb. You're in good... You're in actually quite, quite well positioned to attack them. You are positioned to attack this fellow. So let's do that. Rudiger Torsh. A couple of good armies, but most of it's quite badly knackered. I think the Prussians in the south are going to get mopped up quite quickly. And it will mostly, the main focus will be around Berlin and Dresden. That will be the main frontier. And then it will mean that as I'm preparing to fight Russia, well, ultimately, somebody needs to mop up Britain and then start landing in Scandinavia and this can get yeah the attack against Russia will be on as many fronts as possible so as is before set the artillery up behind us to fire over our heads as we advance keep my melee troops is a support for the battle line. Start combining cavalry. Good. Keeping the melee troops close. really helps me it helps protect my line from the cavalry attacks and it also means my actual cavalry is free to roam and I mean they've clustered together really quite nicely for us falling back towards their reinforcements it looks like Lancers, Freikorps, Cavalry. General's bodyguards advancing close to us. This flank advance aggressively. Oh, the General's bodyguards are going to get shot at point blank range. Where is he? Where is the General? Is he up? <laughs> It's a bad idea. I hear charging noises. Eh, yeah, gendarmerie. Kizobashi. Advance. Ooh, the horse guard, guard de corps. And that, the guard de corps have broken. Push on into the lances. They want a lance, I'll show them a lance, alright. Yeah, get my mercenaries in. Help provide some support. Get my Gurkhas in to try to get it over with. Quicker. There's a Bashi cavalry fire at will. Give me artillery just to focus on their infantry core. Yeah, the dragoons are pushing up, but that's okay. 
all my war elephants back because they're very vulnerable. Do infantry fire. But you know what they're vulnerable too. Being attacked via melee fire. Bring my Hindu warriors over here as well. Fusiliers do not like melee combat. So they are fusiliers. Maybe get my some of my guns to target the infantry positions. So my elephants are in. My cavalry's in. I mean, I'm imagining Prussian fusiliers are a bit sturdier than regular fusiliers. But apart from that, oh, their cavalry's getting engaged. So we're popping off shots at their dragoons. Get some of my infantry units stuck in. Push this flank in. Get my Islamic swordsmen involved up there as well. Hindu warriors get in. Fusiliers, fusiliers. And we've got some guard decor in here. They're inspired by the presence of the guard decor, but I don't think it's going to provide the help they wish. Go for the cavalry. Mop them up first. Well, actually, you guys get over here. You guys get over here. No time to lose. Push into the concentration. Well, push into the gunners rather than rather than trying to shoot at them, just charge them so I can push more of my men forward into the combat. Here we do have some marines here. And this square formation thinks they're doing the right thing. Yeah, you charge the blunderbuss shotgunners and I suppose Hindu musketeers want you to run all the way around the back of this combat. The blunderbuss shotgun as they've blundered their last bus. How about you? The gunners are going down. Push the cavalry on out of the combat. All the rest of the infantry attack here. You men cease fire. Get the guns. Get the cavalry back out of this combat. Yep, they're all running. Okay, so you guys just position yourselves better. We are going to continue here. While we try and mop up some units. You're going to stop firing at will, Kizobashi, because that's a recipe for disaster, potentially. They're both militia units. I want to see if you can get those fusiliers. I don't want them fighting again. Okay, actually, you guys all help them. Chomp. A bit slapdash when I do did I decide to not to fight or not. Can't really explain my rationale. Some of it comes down to if I can be bothered or not. Sometimes it comes down to is it if if it's if you're charging if you're chasing after people through a city or through lots of defenses, it's kinda of like eh, don't worry about it, just let them go. Fight them another day. Apart from that, though, that's quite a resounding victory for our forces near Sarajevo. I want to see what you do. 
with your you got a decent army there, so I wanna see what you do. Okay, I can probably stand to start just churning out units realistically. You're gonna pull back. Because you got hammered and you got four units coming in, so you can you can wait for them. Everyone else, make sure everyone else that can replenish is replenishing. On the main front, you are waiting for one unit of musketeers. Okay, you are waiting for one unit of guns. The city itself here is pretty knackered. Let's take Copenhagen. We'll control the entrance to the Baltic Seas. And it's a really good springboard to try and push into places like St. Petersburg down the line when we're at war with Russia. And I think I've got the armies... You know, there are still armies being recruited in India, but I think I will stockpile them in northern France ready to invade Great Britain. And then that force will then either invade um, Scandinavia or they will around, sail around the north and land at Arkhangelsk. No cleverness required here. All of you, musket or melee. You're all gonna Roman to Rome Total War style barbarian charge. So they got some cool units, but not enough. Yeah, line infantry guards, 73 of them. Go get them, Sipahi. Go get the Mahadi. everyone orders to bayonet charge. Where they form square? That's not a bad idea. Will it last though? Let's pull you guys out of the combat. They're about to get swarmed by a bunch of angry Hindus. While my cavalry continues to push. Swarm, swarm, swarm. No style, no finesse, but you know what? Sometimes you just don't need it. Move around the flank. <laughs> Carnage. We've dealt with the artillery. That column of men. A couple of quick round shots and they're all dead. <laughs> I'm mowing down my own guys with my elephant. <laughs> Lots of my own dervishes. They're all very upset. See, now they're in combat, it's fine. Largely, I just saw a bunch of musketeers get thrown around. 
concerned by army losses. Ooh, Field Marshal of the Army. Got him. That was so dumb. And we lost so many men because of my elephants charging into the back of the combat. See, we lost. <laughs> yeah, so we we killed 200, 400 men, twice the amount they actually got. So let's give yeah, everything we built. You replenish. You just hold here. Demolish the university. Get rid of the major fishery. Repair the port. Build better roads. Upgrade the fortifications. You may actually sit here, ready to hop over to Norway, should the need arise. Okay. Can you leave yet? Minus eight. Nope. Okay, you guys replenish. Let's check over here. Because we are still interested in bolstering a future front line. Over in India, you're still growing. So you've got one more gun team. That brings us to 11, so you need 9 infantry. Plus... Got any dervishes? No. Derv so when it comes to my troops, it probably makes sense to say this unit's the best one. But I'm swarming with so many troops, you know, optimizing like that isn't, it's not, I'm not really that interested in doing that. So two armies sat here ready to invade Britain. Actually, is Britain allied with anyone? Frustrating. Allied with Russia and Portugal. So that's why having a navy here is important, because if that kicks off, I need to be able to block off Valletta so that none of these guys get fired into into attacking me um, in the Mediterranean. Let's repair the, the harbour, or the port at Vienna. They're coming around, they're becoming more Islamic. We're exempting them for tax right now, but I will continue well, I will force them now to help pay for their upkeep. And the no numbers are growing from immigration from the home theatre. Yeah, we're, we're bolstering our front line against New Spain in the Americas. So let's see how Prussia responds to their beatings. They're consolidating their front near Berlin. I'd like this two army... Ooh, do I want to intercept? On one hand, potentially yes to wear them down. On the other hand, it's just one army, so no. I don't mind they've pushed us out of the port. That's okay. Handily, they're sending troops away from Berlin and Dresden down to the south. And this is the reason why I need to have a stack of infantry near the, those cities, just to provide an extra extra amount of reinforcement should things kick off because they are starting to get ser serious numbers now gentlemen are on the move you're pushing up towards Zagreb but I don't think you have the strength to really do anything about it Russian troops are still consolidating. I really, I'd like to try and get more priests in Moscow to start, to keep the, uh, or to try to start converting the population 
to Islam just to make my overall conquest go that much smoother. Well, there's uh, rebels from Istanbul. Good, that'll keep wearing them down. Yeah, they took Belgrade, which is unfortunate. I'd like to take Belgrade to keep, so I can push them east of quite an important river that runs through the Balkans. Bavaria's... Bavarian Württemberg need to be dealt with at some point, but now is not the time. Quebec's going to Quebec. There's the Mexican rebels. I'm not interested in the Mexican rebels. They will chill out in due course. And we can get back to it. So we still have only about a hundred grand because we keep recruiting so many damn troops. Our army costs a quarter of a million. No, sorry, no, two hundred thousand a turn to maintain. So opportunities. One, take you. Siege Berlin. That army is now non viable to support other ventures actually first and foremost let's make sure i don't forget to do in my i always get my building done out of the way because i think once i start ultimately this ep this episode's probably um not going to end soon so i need to keep and now i've got this chart that shows me where everything's been upgraded and where i need to spend my money I need to make sure I actually do something with it. Lots of upgrades. Lots of good upgrades. So yeah, you're here ready and waiting for Wertenbo to kick off and be up to no good. Let's build another madrasa. Let's upgrade the trading port here. You're going to be wait you're waiting for artillery. So what we can do. Is this guy can attack the Germans in port. You can attack this army here. If you put Dresden under siege. You can bolster any attack we make on Berlin. Which we will we will need more troops. Oh, well, you're not going to siege anyway because you're needing to recover. But what I mean is I can take out each in, each of these armies and prevent them from supporting Berlin. So you, let's go mop up Kurt Christoph von Schwerin and his army. Then we can mop up that smaller, um, good condition army north of Berlin. We may not necessarily attack Berlin, but we've made it so that if they want to do anything they have to sally and there's because there's no one coming to their rescue and every turn they're just going to be attrited that little bit more i got my bugged artillery loads of bugged artillery that's yes that's, that's so dumb it's interesting this is the only faction that that really happens i haven't really had bugged artillery in I don't think I've had it in any, any of my other campaigns, actually. But yeah, we will be attacking. We could sit back and just let Shrapnel take care of Shrapnel Shot take care of them, but that wouldn't be cricket. All that artillery. Didn't even, I haven't even managed to kill a single gun team, though. Yeah, there we go. Finally. So then, halt my artillery. Fire it well again. Pick someone else to shoot. These hussars. 
I mean, you can go for them if you like, but... Fire! So you've lost ten of your buddies. <laughs> All of my artillery is going after that gun team. Okay, just give my guns some other targets to shoot at. See, I hear charge noises. I hear... Yeah! Is that you? Is that a regiment of gendarmerie. How it says are opening fire on someone. Advance up at speed. Let's see if we can get this infantry to uh, abandon their defensive position. To be honest, you guys smack the militia. Get two guns to attack the pikemen. Bicor cavalry is now being targeted by a whole lot of artillery. them. I mean, a few volleys and they'll run. With that much artillery, they just can't stick it. One of you guys to go after the general's bodyguard. Let's try to take him out. Ceasefire the artillery, all of it. There goes the Jaeger. Brightcore cavalry are trying their luck. Killed the general. Pull my my uh, my Islamic swordsman back. I was going to say, re-engage all my guns against that Freikor cavalry unit. Obviously someone came back. Ah, oh, square is not a good idea. Not compared to running away, it isn't. Oh, they're confident. How nice. Guns reload. Nice. Oh no. Okay, that did work. Good. I had to get a screenshot. Just pum pum pum. Oh, they're not all. They aren't all shooting. So this unit of Hindu musketeers is going to be the first one to open fire against the 21st Regiment of Foot. Herald the Ocham... Ochamari... Ocham... Ocham... Ochamari... Ochamari... This unit... Yeah... You got away lucky that time. 24 men remaining. It's not the general either. Who was it? The gendarmerie. The new men march up and take kit. Got health, Habi, which is 
It's got some interesting units and it's at full strength, so we just need to be a bit more, not cautious, just aware of what it is we're, we're trying to do. We don't want to lose too many men. Then we will probably try and see if we can attack Berlin. It's going to be a bloody battle, but it's going to be a fun one. Anyway, before we can do that, we need to destroy these Prussians. So we're going to be fairly conventional. We've got a good long front line. We want to make sure we take advantage of that. We've got a good amount of artillery, but we need to be cognizant of where we want to utilize it. So our guns will automatically engage their guns first, which isn't terrible. We've got some lances running around. Probably going to go for a Kizilbashi unit, chiefly. I mean, that's a bit of a screw up there to go for my Hindu musketeers. Well, normally they like going for the Kizilbashi because the Kizilbashi don't have. Um, they can't form square, so they're that much more vulnerable. Lancers, Bosniaks, I don't care. Okay, I need to get these musketeers in the line. Unsurprisingly, you're a bit upset because you're being engaged by Prussian line infantry. Firing at will. Let's just get my native lancer to the flank of the Prussian giants just to try and unbalance them. You're gonna keep pushing, keep pushing my melee troops through. Sipahi, go for the 82nd Regiment of Foot, flank them with the swordsmen. Then we can start to wrap our mel uh, musket troops around. This unit's just been enveloped. My armoured lance cavalry and my Islamic swordsman. You've done damage, but come back. Snipe their artillery. Okay, let me make sure my general's up. Yep, yeah, just run. Your, your job was to intercept, not to spar. Try pull one unit back through my line, one unit to keep pushing through. Did the cavalry come back? Yeah, the, the lancers came back. Those men ran, which is not entirely surprising, but they did draw a musket unit into them. Okay, right, let's get around the flank with my skirmish cavalry. They might come back, they've not lost very many of them. Is push up, get ready to shoot. Yeah, my lance is unsurprising. They're after, they're against Curacia. If we can get the Prussian giants to route, my Zemindari horsemen are going to be firing bows and arrows at them. Okay, right, we need to push up. Uh, 
Get the native lancers back around. Those cuirassiers are going to mince my skirmishes. But we are doing really well. In the push. Actually, no, you, no, you have to help them there. You go after the Prussian giants. You need to go... We need to defeat the, the Curassier because we need this cavalry unit to survive and help us pursue the enemy. Getting my artillery to cease fire just in case. Because this army was in good condition, I do want to try get as many of them as I can. Okay, so let's follow my lancers first, because they're after the grenadiers. Good stuff. Try and set that cavalry unit, because it's not very often you get to destroy a cavalry unit. Normally they do get to run away. Okay, send both of you guys after the Swiss line. Go and try and mop up this unit before they can escape. It's possible. Probable even. Everyone against the Swiss line. Twenty nine strong, two, one. Yes. Well, it wasn't close, but it was a good win. That was a good win. So you want to fall back to the east. So now you can just push through this guy's spot. I mean, okay, you're going to auto-resolve killing that one unit. Push you up to take the bridge to provide some guard to the east. You're going to do the same, except in northern Germany. You're going to go back into the port. You're still waiting on reinforcements, which are en route. I mean, we are going to get some Hanoverian rebels. They will come round. Actually, have I got a agent in here? Yes. Let's begin to chip away at these belligerent Protestants, because you've got you converting the regular population to Islam. So we're sieging Sack Dresden chiefly to uh, just stop them from being able to respond in the and save Berlin not really for any other purpose. You're going to make, might get intercepted by this Prussian cavalry army. Apparently. You're going to push up into a good position, as are you. Okay, everyone's generally getting to where I, need, where I want to get to. I may recruit. I may build, rather. Try and build. A bunch of madrasas in Hungary. Not necessarily to some super keen on making Hungary Islamic, because if I can get those three extra agents in one spot, that's quite powerful. So you're okay, right? So let's push you up to this bridge. You can't really recruit anything useful. Let's put these. Let's put this Kizilbashi force in the middle. And by putting them in the middle, we are. It means that they can respond, or they can support both of these cities in one go. Which means you aren't necessarily necessary. And you could also potentially hold this bridge specifically, because those guys can probably destroy him. I mean, these guys are definitely down for the count with all these troops who got to the south. 
So what I'm going to end up doing... Travis, do I pick you or do I pick you? It's got to be you. But you are replenishing. But what I'll probably end up doing is I will make a bunch of breaches. And then I'll fall my guns back. So the first things I want in all of my reinforcing armies are sturdy infantry. Cavalry is not so bad. But what I want is infantry. Um, but this is going to be a bit of a chunky battle. So looking, but looking at the timer, I believe that's probably going to be time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we capture Berlin. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.